So the people that brought us Dark Souls, Elden Ring, and Sekiro are back with the new Armored Core game. It's been 11 years since Armored Core 5. So my experience with Armored Core, I played one Armored Core game back on the PS2, which is, I don't even know how long ago I played that. You know, back when I wasn't so old. But with that, we're gonna attempt to unlock Armored Core 6's Platinum Trophy. The game overall and its trophies weren't too difficult. I actually found this game to be a lot easier than the usual From Software games. The trophy guide I was using rates it out an eight out of 10 because of one trophy, we'll speak about that in a moment, is gonna take us about 50 hours and the game has 30 trophies to unlock the Platinum. And to grab all those 30 trophies, Luckily, there's no missable stuff. You can miss out on trophies in a playthrough and need a new playthrough, but you can just go into a new playthrough and get them. So technically there's nothing missable. I'm gonna be following a guide because there's so many secret missions that unlock only when you do specific things and decisions. So I'm gonna be following a guide and we're gonna need three playthroughs to get these trophies. So we're gonna tackle it in four steps. Step one though, let's beat the story and get our first ending. So the first thing we do is we jump straight into the game and take control of our mech. All right, here we go, we're in. Armored Core, let's get it. Let's freaking go. So now that we're in game, we learn the controls, we get in a couple of fights and we take on our first boss. And once we're done with that first boss and we complete the first mission called Illegal Entry, we get our first trophy. Nice. Get the hell out of here. First boss done. Hey, there's our first trophy. Illegal entry. So after I finished that first mission, I decide now's a good time to mess around with my mech, change it up a little bit, and we get another trophy, graphic designer. Oh, another trophy. Graphic designer. Hell yeah. I then go change up my mech's weapon, and we grab another trophy. Oof, hardware engineer. Beautiful. As I'm making my way through this level, we die for the second time. This level was really freaking cool. There's a huge giant walking mech thing in the background that you gotta take out. Jeez, what the hell is going on there? What, is, this is like a giant robot or something in the background. Just absolutely obliterated me. Jesus. Then we got it. Nice. Jesus, that was a cool ass boss. It's huge. Once we're done with that mission, we're heading to a new mission. We've, we've got another boss fight. This time we fight some giant tank thing. And once we complete this level, we get another trophy, which is Operation Wall Climber. Boom. Got it. Beautiful. First try as well. Let's go. Confirmed. Juggernaut destroyed. Ooh, a trophy. Operation Wall Climber. That's for clearing the mission. Operation Wall Climber. Hell yeah. After we've done that, we start unlocking these training missions. There's only seven of them all together, and they're all super easy and super short. So we complete all seven, and we get Training Complete Trophy. Ooh, Training Complete. Cleared all the training programs. Once I've done that, we unlocked arenas. And if you do arenas, they're kind of like little mini boss fights. And every time you complete one, you get OS points. You spend these OS upgrades on your mech. We do our first one and grab this trophy. Oh, software engineer. That's for purchasing our first AC OS upgrade. Next, we have our first real challenge. Uh oh. Another boss fight. We have a couple of failed attempts here, but once we finally clear it, we get the contact trophy. Here we go. So I think this is, I'm guessing this is the final boss for chapter one. Jesus, I just got my ass whipped. How the hell do I avoid all that stuff? Holy cow. 
Right, well, first attempt, we got slapped. Let's go again. Bro, I don't know how to avoid those missiles, bro. That's crazy. Oh, I was so close. Look at his health bar, man. Oh my god, this is the usual From Software stuff, isn't it? Where there's like a certain boss that just kicks your ass and makes you want to start playing. This is going to be that boss. We got super close right there, though. Yes! We got him. Let's go. Hell yeah. I took a bit of a break. Took like half an hour break. Came back. Give it a retry. Got on our first attempt. Nice, there's another trophy. Contact, which is for completing attack. The watch point, which is uh, the final boss of chapter one. So this next mission was probably one of the ones that annoyed me the most. There was these like red beams coming down, like lasers, and they'd lock onto you and absolutely destroy your mech in like two hits. This one really frustrated me, but we finally figured it out, finally got it done. We beat the boss at the end and we grabbed ourselves another trophy, this time Ocean Crossing. Jesus, I don't know how to avoid these things proper. Bro, how do I avoid this thing, bro? Oh my god. I don't know what to do, but like I can't I don't know how to avoid these missiles. I'm trying to shoot the little robot things, but it's just not working. They lock onto me and then I'm dead. Like, bro, what? Bro. Is that all I needed to do? Go underneath. Oh my days. Now I just feel like an idiot. All I needed to do to avoid it was go under the bloody bridge. I thought I needed to shoot those stupid little robots that were floating about. Can I go under this bridge as well? Boom. Get out of here, flying spider piece of crap. Yeah, I did not. Wasn't a fan of that mission. The, uh, those annoying lasers, bro. I was trying to time it, but I just, I couldn't get the timing down consistently. Every, like, every now and again, I'd, I'd, I'd get it, but most of the time, I just, I just couldn't get the timing. Oh, another trophy. Ocean Crossing. Cleared a mission, Ocean Crossing. That could be... Chapter 2, I'm not sure, but happy days. This next mission and trophy was super simple. It's Data Log Collector. This mission, we just went around grabbing, like, logs on bodies. Ooh, a Data Log Collector. Obtained 10 Data Logs. Yo, you get so into this game, like, it's just so hyper-focused. So far, though, I'll, I'll definitely say it's like... It, this is nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Um, but of course, I think the 8 out of 10 difficulty is because of the needing to get S rank on every single level. So that might be where the difficulty comes in. But uh, yeah, so far enjoying it, but um, not as difficult as I thought. So for this next mission, there's nothing too crazy, but we do get a trophy and new threat, and we also get a little surprise at the end of the mission. Bro, stay still. Crying out loud. There we go. Dude was just constantly pouncing around. We got it though. I think that might be the end of chapter three, potentially. What the hell is that? What? What? What the frick? I thought we were done, bro. We ain't done. 
It's a freaking giant worm. Oh my god. It's a freaking mecha worm. Jesus. It's freaking powerful as well. Rest of base. Guess we're going to be taking that worm out in a future chapter then because uh, we didn't take it out now. So yeah, maybe we get a bit stronger. Get another trophy. A new threat. Cleared mission. Attack the old spaceport. Beautiful. So now we finally get to tackle that giant and we get a new trophy for clearing the mission, destroy the ice Here we worm. go. Got a whole crew with us this time to take out the worm. We said we was going to do it at some point. Here it is. It's time to take it out. That was cool. Nice, we stunned it. It's time to go to the war now. Jesus. We did a nice amount of damage there. So it seems this fight's going to be in phases. Boom! We got him. Woo! First try as well. I haven't died in ages. I don't remember the last time I died. Good like. Oh shit. Oh shit. I need to back up. Whoa. Jesus. Yeah, it's been like three hours since I last died. It's crazy. We just kind of got this build that we, we got from uh, from the guide that we're following and it just seems to be working out flawlessly for us so far. There we go. That's chapter three complete. We got uh, the mission air and the coral for completing the mission destroy the ice worm making good progress the next trophy we get is into unknown territory which is for clearing the mission underground exploration depth three we get in there destroy the generator and then we need to get the hell out of there get out of the mission update escape the reactor co oh god okay I can't even see what's going on, to be honest. Alright. Boss is dead, I think. Wait, how's that thing still alive? There we go. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Do we make it? There we go. Oof. Damn. The scale on some of the missions and the... and bosses is, is pretty cool. Boom. Trophy, it's been a while. Into unknown territory. Cleared the mission underground exploration depth three. Nice. So we've got the looks like we've got the final three arena battles now as well. They've been uh, they've all been super, super easy so far. So let's see how these final three pan out. We thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for all the upgrades. Nice. Yeah, so that's all of them done. Unless there's some secret ones. Nope, oh, there we go. Testing complete. Cleared all combat altitude evaluation programs in the arena. Hell yeah. Yeah, there was all... They were all really, really super easy. So the next trophy we grab is re-education, which is beating the reach of the Coral Convergence. Usual stuff here. Mission. Boss at the end. Complete the chapter. Get the trophy. Alright, is he actually dead now? Alright, yeah, we actually got him this time. Sweet. Damn, we just got wrecked. We education cleared the mission, reach the coral convergence, which I think is the end of chapter four. Another simple and easy trophy and mission here. We get the floating sitter trophy for clearing the mission, take the inhabited floating sitter. Nice. The floating city. Cleared mission, take the uninhabited floating city. That was crazy, that city. Is it size, I think? Holy shit. This next one, we move on to the final mission of the game. We get the Fires of Raven ending. That is the first of three endings. So, it's going good so far. Oof, that were close. I think I had literally one hit left. She was just moving so fast though, I couldn't keep track. Boom, the Fires of Raven reached the end in Fires of Raven. Nice. 
All right, so now that we're done with step one, we beat the game, we got the first of three endings. So now we're gonna be moving on to step two. So we're automatically been put into new game plus. So yeah, second playthrough, we're gonna get the ending Liberator of Rubicon. While we're going through new game plus, we're also gonna try and get all of the collectibles that we need. So hopefully by the end of step two, we'll have another ending and all of the collectibles. All right, so I just looked, we won't be able to get all of the collectibles in this second playthrough because in New Game Plus Plus, which is our third playthrough, there's a few extra levels that you unlock. So I'm gonna try and get all of the collectibles obviously in all the missions that I have available. And then there'll probably be a handful of missions that we unlock in the third playthrough to get the remaining collectibles. Sounds super confusing, but I've got a guide, so we shouldn't have too much trouble doing that. So I continue playing through the second playthrough of New Game Plus. I do a bunch of arena missions, get a load of OS upgrades, and grab ourselves another trophy. Oh! Expansion Collector. Obtained all core expansions. Hell yeah, good stuff. Right after that, we spend the remaining points that we've got left to unlock the final OS upgrade, which grabs us another trophy. Boom, and another trophy. Tuning Expert. Performed all OS upgrades. Sweet. We're, uh, we're get, getting some good progress now. 42% overall completion. Super close as well to uh, completing the second playthrough now as well. So uh, yeah, things are going good. I've also changed up my loadout as well, so I'm having even more fun. So next, we beat the game for the second time. We beat New Game Plus and grab ourselves our second ending trophy, which is Liberator of Rubicon. This playthrough was pretty easy it was way easier than the first playthrough so yeah nothing difficult here breezed through it all right so we should get the second ending trophy now there it is liberator of rubicon so that's the end of our second playthrough we got the uh the two different endings now so now we just need the third and final ending all right, so here we are back at the garage. We're now in a new game plus plus. So it's our third playthrough. So we're going to go for ending three. But as we're playing through this and going for ending three, we should also pick up a few extra trophies as well. So this next mission was an absolute exercise in frustration, pain and patience. You can hear in my voice that I absolutely hated this mission. Bro, what the hell, man? How I failed it. This mission is trash, bro. You literally just got to keep destroying these transport things but it's so such a lame mission bro holy crap and you have to start from the beginning every time you lose am i done yet oh my god really more dude oh my god bro oh my god this is the worst freaking mission out of the whole game holy crap this mission I need a break, man. Oh my god, have I done it? Oh my god, finally. I ended up having to switch to the uh, to the machine guns so uh, I could just rain fire down a little bit more. The lock-on system loves to, like with stuff that flies, the lock-on system loves to like aim behind the enemy so you, you end up missing it. Thank god that thing's over. That coral export denial, this mission was prop. Probably the hardest mission in the game. I hated this mission. And I'm going to have to do it again and get an S rank, which I'm absolutely not looking forward to. So now something a little bit easier. We take on the final arena and grab the Masters of Arena trophy. Boom. All right, that should be the last arena and we should... We should get the trophy now. There it is. Master of Arena. Cleared all arena programs. So next, another straightforward one. We complete the mission MIA for the trophy MIA. Boom, there's another exclusive mission done, MIA. We now move on to the final ending trophy. I lay Lecter Hest, if that's how you pronounce it. I haven't a clue if that's how you pronounce it, but that was the trophy for the third and final ending. Oh bro, you cheating. 1v5, come on now. Why no fair fight, mate? I feel like this is going to be difficult. 
surely that's only the first phase. It was too easy. I mean, it's a final boss in a FromSoft game. Of course, there's more than one phase. Oh my god. Dude just transformed. Alright, he's my buddy. Looks like I've got backup this time. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go. Are those floating things? Right, we might want to get rid of them first, to be fair. Right, I think that's one gone. Go get rid of the other one. Jesus. Wow. This is insane. Alright. Just the main one now. I think I can't freaking see, man. It's floating all over the shop. Wait, no, there's another one. He doesn't respawn them, does he? You were a mistake, we got him. Irregular. Unless he's got a third th uh, phase. I think we're good. Second try. Not bad. Jeezy, you see him then? He tried attacking me at the end. Looks like we got it. Thank you, CGG. Hell yeah, there it is. Playthrough number three, new game plus plus complete. Are we going to get our two trophies now? I mean, I'm definitely going to get the third ending trophy because that was definitely a different ending. But are we going to get the trophy for playing and unlocking every single mission in the game? Because there's a lot of decisions you've got to make. And if you make one wrong decision, you'll have missed out on a, a secret mission. And then you have to go do a new playthrough. So hopefully we get tr two trophies right now. So there's the first one, that's for the third ending. Are we gonna get the other one? Yes, there it is, Stargazer. So that's for clearing every single mission, which means we didn't mess up and we unlocked every single mission, which means we can now go get all the collectibles, all the unlocks, and then we can start working on the S ranks as well. All right, so we finished playthrough three. So I'm gonna go and buy all of the pieces of gear, assuming I've got enough money and let's see if we pick up any trophies for all parts there's still a possibility though that i've missed a few in uh, some missions so we'll buy these see what happens oh there we go internal parts collector so that's for obtaining all inner parts so that's a good sign we got that one still got almost 13 million so let's continue purchasing stuff see if we get anything else external parts collector obtained all frame parts nice i almost missed recording that one so pause my recording didn't expect i was getting a trophy there but yeah all frame parts done hell yeah next a grab combat log collector which is obtaining all combat logs there we go 15 so that should hopefully be the trophy there it is so we got an s rank on that and we got combat log collector so that's all of the combat logs so now all we need is the all of the weapons and once we've got all the weapons it'll give me the trophy for that and all of the parts in general and then we just need to do the s ranks which is probably going to be quite tough oh you've got to buy them as well okay i didn't realize you also need to buy them once you've found them hey there it is weapon collector obtained all weapon parts and then i should get the other one for all parts in general there it is asset Holder obtained all parts. There we go. You love to see it. Beautiful. All right. So that means we're now complete with step three and we're moving on to the final step. Step four, which is to get the S rank on every single level. Um, I've been doing the S ranks already. I've got a fair few of them. So altogether, we need to do I think it's 59 missions altogether. So yeah, we need to S rank fi all 59 missions. You can see there I've I've done a couple of them, but there's still quite a lot to do. So yeah, now the grind 
to S rank in every single level and obviously the reason getting the platinum is at 8 out of 10 is because some of these are super difficult some of them have been really annoying and really hard already we'll see how it goes going to continue getting these S ranks and then that shiny platinum is ours all right so it's down to the wire we're getting pretty close now we've only got four more missions to get an S rank uh some of them are left because I tried a few times and failed so I've got a legal entry to do, uh, export, or escort the weaponized mining ship. This one was quite hard, so I'm probably going to have trouble with this one. Stop the secret data breach. And then the one I'm probably dreading the most, I haven't even attempted it. It could be easy, but I feel like it's going to be hard because I hated, I absolutely hated this mission just normally playing it. So yeah, the ex export denial one where you you could only allow five or more and you'd fail it was probably the hardest mission in the game so i'm kind of dreading uh trying to get an s rank on this level but we'll see how it goes so first i grab the s rank in illegal entry all right so i feel this should hopefully be an s rank i think it's only like three tries two tries see if we get it yeah there it is there's another s rank beautiful so we've only got three more s ranks to go we must have done it on this one okay so if you're having trouble with this mission use the flamethrowers holy crap they are ultra powerful yes there it is s rank let's go yeah if you're having trouble with this one definitely flamethrowers that is 100 the approach i'll show you the build as well actually super quick because that was definitely the hardest mission i've done but with that build I just used, it was super easy and I did it in my first try. So I'll just show it super quick. So if anyone's having issues with a mission, there you go. That's my build. Good luck. <laughs> with that though, we've only got two more left. We've got Stop the Secret Data Breach. And then the one I'm dreading, Coral Export Denials. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. I now grab the S rank in Stop the Secret data breach hey there we go s rank cool i didn't think i was going to get an s rank for that one but happy days i'll take it we've only got one more s rank to go and this could possibly be the hardest but it might end up being easy who knows let's do it So I left what was probably the most annoying and hardest one until last. This mission I absolutely hated just playing through like normally, so getting the S rank was something I was definitely not looking forward to and it was really difficult, it took me a lot of tries. But once I found this build online with these shotguns, I'll show you the build at the end, things was so much easier. Oh, that was a good run. That was a real good run. Took barely any damage. Only used one repair. None of the transports escaped. Is this it? Did we get an S rank in our platinum? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom, there it is, S rank. The perfect mercenary clear all missions with an S rank rating. And here it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, armored core trophy unlocked acquired all trophies 100 percent let's freaking go hell yes initial impressions definitely not an eight out of ten difficulty it was probably more a six five six for me personally but uh yeah we got it done i'll have a look in a minute see how long it took us you have completed every mission with an s rank rating hell yeah it's a shame we don't really get anything other than like a little certificate emblem thing out of it i'll show you that build as well real quick for in case anyone has trouble with uh that mission i was just playing did it first attempt with this build that's our online so that's the build i was just using then so if you're having trouble try this build you'll probably get it done pretty easy so thank you all so very much for watching also if you was wondering it took me 40 hours so 10 hours under i'll take it again thank you for watching consider subscribing and liking the video many more platinum trophies coming your way so yeah thank you again and i'll catch you all on the next one